The administration client allows the changing of some settings from the camera itself from within the administration client interface. So for example, I can get this camera and go to advanced device settings and now the system will download some settings from the camera which I can change uh, from here. So let's say I want to change the color level from, from this camera to uh, 40. So every, every change, every setting that I change is going to be, it's going to have this checkbox. It, it means that it's going to save to the camera and when I hit save, uh, now it changed the camera itself. As you can see, uh, the system actually changing, sending commands to the camera to save and change the parameters. Uh, I'm going to go back, to, I'm going to put it back to 50. Okay, uh, but the most interesting thing is that you can do it for many cameras simultaneously. So what you can do is you select all the cameras you want to change and you have to make sure that the cameras are compatible with the same device settings driver that we have. So for example, in this list we have Axis and Samsung. It's not going to allow you to change the advanced device settings. So I'm going to remove the Samsung and now it allows me to configure all these cameras simultaneously. Uh, one nice tip is that you can select one camera and you press Ctrl S for settings and then it's going to select every camera that has the same and share the same settings driver that will allow you to configure all these cameras simultaneously and change some camera parameters. So I'll select these cameras here, go to device settings. It always use one camera as uh, the source for settings. So I'll just select uh, the camera one for source. And then right now I'm viewing the settings from camera one, okay? Uh, if I select another camera, then the system will download the, download the settings from this camera and, and show on the list. So whenever I change one setting uh, on the camera, uh, it's gonna be applied to all other selected cameras. So let's change the brightness and the color level from all these cameras simultaneously. When I save, it actually saved and changed all the cameras simultaneously. So this is very, very um, important and useful when you have cameras that uh, let's say you want to change the resolution or frame rate, so you, you need to change some streaming settings from every camera uh, simultaneously. You can do that. Um, we don't have that, that configuration for access cameras, for example, just because you can actually configure uh, the media profile and, and everything in the media profile here. But most cameras that does not allow us to do dynamic streaming, such uh, as uh, what uh, Axis allows us to do, and, the, and rather their fixed configuration on the camera. And for those cameras, you will have uh, the option of changing the, the camera resolution and frame rate here as well. Uh, we are working to, to, to de develop the, uh, the settings driver for as many cameras as we can, uh, it's, a, um, it's a very hard job to, to add uh, that, drive, uh, that driver and configuration for uh, cameras that we already developed in the past, but we are working to uh, try to develop um, these settings drivers for um, at least for the main uh, brands that are used on the, on the, on the market. And we are constantly expanding our support list. Uh, if there are some, some um, configurations that are not supported by all cameras, you're going to see that some cameras there uh, is going to fail uh, to, to, to change. And then you're going to receive this message that some cameras has failed, but you know that that camera does not support that type of uh, configuration. Uh, so only the cameras that actually, because I use camera zero or one, for example, as as the source, but camera three does not allow, does not support audio here. So camera three will definitely fail uh, if we save audio uh, and, and change on uh, the audio settings. Um, 
So it will only change for cameras that actually support that command and support that setting. So for example, image appearance and white balance is supported by all the selected cameras. So all these settings are gonna be uh, saved. So very powerful feature, uh, new feature for 7.3, and we are constantly uh, working to add more uh, cameras to these, uh, to this setting.